What up, peeps? Welcome to today's vlog. We are outside Spin Cycle Records, and they're supposed to have video games here. So we are going to head inside and get our game hunting day started. This is day number two. If you missed yesterday's vlog, definitely check it out. We hit up 12 stores, I think, and we got a lot of really cool stuff. So today we have the same number of stores, and I'm hoping that we find some more cool stuff. Their video game selection was kind of small, so I actually just grabbed one record, Fall of the Bastards. They are a Portland band that is not together anymore. This, it's gonna tell you guys a date, it looks like it doesn't have it on there, but I know it's not recent because they have not been together for a while, so I thought that was kind of cool. 10 bucks. Nice. Yeah. All right, I'll show my record off first. We got a Red Hot Chili Peppers record live. Pretty cool. Got some games. Got Fifth Element and oh, X Men Mutant Academy. Nice. Very cool clips. Yeah. We just got to the second Pink Gorilla location. Let's head inside. We just got done at the Pink Gorilla. First off, got a PlayStation 1 case, pretty nice. Also got a uh, handy gear. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it's missing the little flap, but it was pretty cheap. <laughs> also got Pokemon Green in That's box. Pretty, pretty awesome. And I also got Samurai Spirits for the Game Boy. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. Mm -hmm. And then what did Abby get? SpongeBob for the Switch. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then for the store, grab Freaky Flyers. No man, well. We also got River City Ransom. And then for the collection, it's only missing the styrofoam. That's Crazy Creatures for the NES. The box is in really nice shape. That's why I grabbed it. So now we're going to continue on. And yesterday's video is not uploaded yet. At Pinkerella here and at the last store, they both let me use their Wi-Fi and we're trying to get it uploaded, but it's going really, really slow. Our next stop is at D-Pad Retro Gaming and Collectibles.
<clears throat> the Elder Scrolls Online Special Edition Big Box. It's a Dwemer statue. And then I got a Bug Hoblin. <laughs> All right, I guess I'm next. First off, got a loose copy of Fear Effect. Cooper has a case at the store, hopefully. I can it's put that trash. together. <laughs> got Arcade Advanced. Got a Game Shark Pro video tape. <laughs> got another Master System game. Action fighting, fighter, whatever. <laughs> That's awesome. And the guy gave me a little bit of a discount on this, but I got a PS1 mouse in the box. A little bit of a discount? Well, it's less than that. <laughs> and I go for more than that, so that's pretty cool. So I got, for the store, Dragon Warrior 2, and also Donkey Kong Jr. Map. And then this is a condition upgrade for my copy, so our other one will be going to the store most likely, and that's Oracle of Ages. This one has the plastic on it, and this is the first print version with the, like, the holographic cover. So, like I said, our other one will be going to the store. And then finally, I'm not sure if I have one of these in the collection or not, but I got two of them, and that is the GameCube RF Switch Factory Seal. Like I said, I got two of them in here, so if we have one, then they're both for the store. If we don't have one, then only one of them is for the store. But that place was really, really cool. They're letting me upload my video. My computer's still inside. It's like 10% away. So hopefully it's finished by the time we go back in. And yeah, definitely check out the place. They're really, really nice. D-pad retro gaming and collectibles. And look at the dragon. I'm not out. I don't know how to zoom in. The last store we tried to go to was not open, unfortunately. That was Game Explosion. So now we are at Game Bound Video Games. Just left game down and got some pretty cool stuff i'm gonna show you guys mine first and then i oh <laughs> then ryan will show you what he got so i got one game for the collection and that's gun force for the super nintendo it's still got the plastic on the box i don't know how well that is coming up on the camera but it's in really really nice shape 100 complete it's got the baggie and everything and then ryan got a few things first find he gave this to me for free <laughs> it was after i paid but I uh, got Bust a Move Deluxe. I uh, got Black Bout for the Master System. And Fantasy Zone for the Master Ooh. System. And last but not least, I got this Resident Evil Shooter. Oh, Claire. There we go. Does Fantasy Zone have Resident a Evil map? Shoot something. Shot Blaster. Yeah, it looks pretty darn cool. Does Fantasy Zone have something in it? A map or something? Does uh, that one come with a map? Yeah, like a it has one. its manual and it has a catalog in it. Got it. Okay, I was like, it's a map or a catalog or something. Yeah, but 
it's complete and very nice. So how many Master System games are you at now? I am at 80 Master System games what? out of 114. Go I mean, Ryan. I don't know if it's 114 because of that uh, power strike, but whatever, I'm counting it. <laughs> <laughs> We just pulled up to Retro Game and Toy Exchange. We've never been here before. Of course, we'll do some filming. Just got done at that store. Very uh, cool place. Yeah, I got a bunch of artworks. So, well, some of artwork. Got a Game Gear manual. Got this cool Samurai Showdown thing. <laughs> Authentic Sega Gear. Uh, Jesse got a free comic. The ponies. <laughs> Eternal Darkness. Ooh, for seven bucks. Yeah. I did Zelda for swords. I'm like standing right in the way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Zelda Wind Waker. Metroid Prime. Dang! I should have looked through yeah, those. You should have. <laughs> and last but not least, a Game Boy Color Box. Uh, ignore that. It had a Game Boy in it, but I, he, I asked him if he could separate it, and he did it for 30 So I was very happy about that. Yeah. And then, right. Ryan can film one. Cooper's idea. turn. So, this one is really, really rough, but it was such a good price, I couldn't pass it. Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine for N64. But half the label's gone. <laughs> it was 25 bucks though. Price Charts currently has it at like 75 80 So I couldn't pass it up. Of course, we will not be selling it for 75 but 25 is too good of a price to not grab it. We also got a Resident Evil Code Veronica for the Dreamcast for 15 which is really good, but it's missing the internal part of the case that holds the two discs. So they are there, but we're gonna have to replace the case. I think we have some. Got Buffy Chaos Bleeds for the Xbox, no manual. House of the Dead 3 complete for Xbox. My favorite PS2 game, Champions Return to Arms, complete. And then we grabbed two games for Sam. We got Decathlete and Virtual Casino for the Saturn, both complete, but they have pretty rough cases. And then for our collection, we got Winning Post for the Saturn. Sam already has this one, he pointed it out to me. They had it marked at 200, we got it for 160. So, pretty awesome. Just need some foam to complete it. But, uh, yeah, we're going to be keeping that one. So, we just got to Retro Emporium. If you want to pan over to their sign. We're going Take to go that. in here. Oh, wait. Uh, over there. Uh -oh. Hopefully we can find some cool stuff here as well. Oh, yeah.
right, so we got done at the other place. We're actually here at the new store, but first I'm going to show you some of the stuff I got. Here's some Zogs. They're Pog. Spawn Pogs. Spogs. <laughs> Jesse got a cool Digivice pin. Very cool. And Ooh, you probably Cooper. noticed in the background. You asked me to marry you. <laughs> 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 I think uh, Ryan put that up there. Yeah, Jesse. <laughs> Here's my ring. No, I, just <laughs> I got an awesome Donatello display piece. Still has. They're old too. Yeah, still has its tag Older on there. Me. <laughs> ten bucks. Real I thought awesome. they were fifteen. No, no the other one is bucks. fifteen. <clears throat> Super cool. Nineteen ninety. Oh yeah. <laughs> So we also got one, <laughs> but we also got another one. Oh yeah. And Ryan was going to get one of these ones too because they had two of each, but the other one was uh, was broken. Yeah. Unfortunately. Broken in multiple places. Yeah, looking good. And then... Oh, sorry. I can hold this one. This is for the collection. I'm super happy about this. I found this. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Legend of Dragoon figure. Very cool. Looks so good. It does look good. Yeah, nice. really, really cool. And then the Dance Dance Evolution Mario Mix Pad. Nice. Got the game in there too. Awesome. So there's a the game for it. And then got a complete Lotus Challenge. Need for Speed Most Wanted and NBA Street Volume 2. The case is water damaged, but. It was a pretty good price, so can't pass it up. We got Turtles Tournament Fighters for Super Nintendo and Road Rash 64. We got a red N64 controller. It needs a new stick, and it, it's a Japanese one actually, but it doesn't matter. Um, it was only 12 bucks. And then, lastly, I got this Yoshi plush. It's got the original tag, it's an N64 era one, and we have a bunch of these already, but I don't think we have this particular one, so I thought that was super cool. It's very cool. What'd you get, Abby? Um, I only got a couple of things. I got some scrump earrings. Uh, <laughs> these are going to be for my sister. The scrump? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> uh, we really it's like Lilo and Stitch. Stitch. <laughs> uh, I got a... Dinosaurs attack cards. It also has some gum in there from 1988, so yum. Very cool. Um, and then I got, instead of Garbage Pail Kids, I got Trash Can Trolls. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got a new mask. Are you going to put that on now? I don't know, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, do it. Okay. You want to see how it looks? No, don't record me right now. So now we're going to head into Al's. This is the second location for this store. Hopefully it's cool. Let's see your mask. <laughs> okay, cool. I got this this first four figures of Link, and then I got this. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> that was loud. All right, some loud so vehicles out here. <laughs> first off, I got this dance pad. It's very cool. It's new. Man, I won that. Yeah, Cooper is jealous. <laughs> official Sony brand too. <laughs> uh, and Jesse got a anime Digimon. Uh, got a couple cheapies. Got a Pokemon and a jam pack. Real cheap. Got the ninja complete. It's not the best but it wasn't bad. Uh, and I got a complete box Sealed. 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 It says sealed, but I don't know. I feel like you can open it. <laughs> a sealed PlayStation 1 controller. I love it. <laughs> I got uh, Formula 1 Beyond the Limit. The Killer Cuts CD. You already had a case for that. Wild Arms 2 with no manual. A couple sports games for the GameCube. I just got them because they were a dollar a piece. We got one of the Logitech controllers for PS2. No receiver, but we have four receivers at the store. Four or five. Uh, Super Gold 2 for the Super Nintendo. Adventure Island 2 for NES. Uh, Hit the Ice, which I got the box for yesterday, so that's to go in my box. 
I got Bomberman for the Turbo Graphics. I can't hold all this stuff. <laughs> oh my god. Alien vs. Predator for the Jaguar. And then got another copy of Transworld Surf. This one doesn't have a manual though. Freaky Flyers, also with no manual. Harvest Moon, A Wonderful Life, with no manual. And then complete for the collection, I'm so happy we found this. Abby found it. Yeah. Top angler for the GameCube, complete for 30 bucks. It's sold for like up to like 110, but I think price chart says like 50, 60. Either way, I'm super happy to find it. I think that was the second most expensive GameCube game we still needed, so that is amazing. And this place is really cool. This is Al's Music, second location. Second location. And we have four or five more stores to hit up. So unfortunately, guys, Game Lobster is closed today, yeah. but we're gonna be going tomorrow. We decided to get a hotel and we're going to get some dinner right now. And then starting tomorrow, we have four more stores to hit up, potentially five if we stop at Northwest Outpost. I'm kind of curious on the way home. Not the same owner. I think they kind of changed stuff around. So I don't know, but that's gonna be it for our game hunting today. So we just had a very nice dinner. We had some Mongolian food. <laughs> what are those? Looking at my balls. <laughs> what are they? <laughs> They're my blue balls. Don't say that <laughs> when we're sharing our room. <laughs> so we just got to our hotel room. <laughs> my shoe deodorizers. <laughs> and we're going to go ahead and end the vlog. It's a little bit early for us to be ending the vlog. It's only 8.40, <laughs> but we don't have anything else to film tonight, so I'm gonna take the time to get the vlog edited and uploaded so we don't have to run around to different stores trying to upload like we did today. So I hope you guys have enjoyed our trip so far. We weren't planning on doing a third day, but looks like we are. We're gonna have four stores tomorrow. So definitely make sure you guys come back and check out the, you know, the end of our trip. Nice. Potentially five stores, but four for sure. So that's going to be it for today, guys. I really hope you've enjoyed it so far. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys again tomorrow.